It's time for Tomsky and Miss Small. Let's read some books. How to Teach a Slug to Read by Susan Pearson, illustrated by David Slonim. When you teach a slug to read, you should one, start out by putting labels on his favorite things. Corn, bug, bean, carrot, worm. Two, next find a real good book. This is very important or your slug will lose interest. The best books will have some slugs in them. This book says, Laughing Lizards. Ugh, lizards eat slugs. I don't think he likes that one. Hug a bug. No way, he says. I don't like that book. Mushy love stories. Yuck! A tale of two termites. Boring. Homework is fun. Get serious, he says. Rhymes from Mother Slug. I want this one. Three, prop the book up close to the ground. I can't see, says the slug. Find a rock for your slug to sit on so he can see the page better. Be patient. It will take your slug some time to climb up on the rock. There's the rock. There he's climbing. I love it. This says, the book in the story says, Mary had a little slug. His skin was smooth as silk. She dressed him in a satin shirt and fed him bread and milk. Hmm. He liked that poem. Five, show your slug the words that repeat a lot. This will help him spot them right away. Once a bug, 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 on a rug, rug, rug. Bug! There's a bug on the rug. Learn to fly, fly, fly. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Fly, bug. Fly. Six. Help your slug sound out words. Slug. Hey, I can read slug. Whatever can the matter be, Sally Slug has climbed a tree. 
She'll come down at half past ten. Then she'll climb back up again. Slug. Seven. Make a vocabulary list. Slugs love new words. Read this first. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a slug who gave her a hug and told her to have a nice day. What's a tuffet? asked the slug. A tuffet is a low seat. Says mom slug. What's curds and whey? Cottage cheese, says mom. No kidding? Eight. Let your slug underline his favorite words in slug slime. Sweet Sammy slug. Slides through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his night gown. And there's the slug underlined. He likes the word nightgown. There's mom. To make sure the children are tucked in their beds and dreams of slug fairies dance in their heads. He likes the word children and slug fairies because he underlined them, see? Nine, read your slug's favorite poems with him as many times as he wants. Read him other books too. This book is called The Pokey Little Slug, Slug for President, Slug and Snail are friends. This looks familiar. The snail in the hat. Like the cat in the hat. Go Slug, go. That's also Dr. Seuss. Ha <laughs> ha. To where the wild slugs are. He thinks that's funny. N. Be patient. Reading isn't learned in a day. It can take months. But don't give up. It's worth it in the end. There he is reading. And then one day he will read books to you. It was a dark and stormy night. That's what's on this side. It was a dark and stormy night. Then he will read books to the beetles and the butterflies and the grasshoppers and the crickets and the bumblebees and the dragonflies. He may start a story hour or even a school. Cool. Once upon a slime, when all were sleeping, a slug came creeping. He's telling a story. Look at all the listeners down here, all the other bugs. I think Mama looks proud. How to play soccer. Books will teach him how to play slug soccer. Books will show him slugs in other lands.
books will show him the whole wide world. And all because you taught your slug to read. Yay, the books. The end.